Over the past few episodes, we have built this wonderful entertainment jetty. And today, we are going to make sure that it really is the tourism hub of the city by adding a ton of unique buildings and making this place really shine with detailing. Let's jump in. Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building the city of Verde Beach. And like I mentioned, we are going to be doing a ton of work here at the jetty today. And I'm calling it the jetty because that is something that was mentioned, not just in the YouTube comments, but also in Discord. And I really love that. What I think we're gonna call this is the Hamilton Jetty. And so we have the exposition here, the pier hotels, and I think I'm gonna rename this. So today we're gonna go through a whole bunch of things. We're gonna go through our, uh, our, our tours that we have here. We're gonna go through and detail these areas out. We're going to add in a couple of unique buildings and we're gonna fix a couple of things that you pointed out in the comments, like La Vista Verde, there's an issue there. But before we get to that, one quick word from today's video sponsor. I've teamed up with Apex Gaming PCs to design my own custom computer, perfect for playing games like City Skylines and Timberborn. Check them out by looking at the link in the video description. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start out in the area that uh, is the most tedious. <laughs> that is right here detailing these plazas. This is going to be another plaza similar to this one, and it's really important that we get this right. And one of the things I noticed as I looked at this is that this path is kind of off-centered. It's weird. I want it to line up with the steps here. I think that that would create a, a very neat vista, and uh, I think it would just bring the whole area to life, bring it bring it together and make it feel right. So we're gonna turn off all of our snap twos, and I really wanna take a look at what's happening here and mirror it. And now that we have that, we're gonna do something interesting. So right here, I want this to be a little food and snack pavilion, a place where you get information about the exhibits and a place where you would it, you know, load up with, with snacks and whatnot. So we're gonna go and ahead and look at our city park assets again. And we've got a number of unique assets in here that I think we can use. We have the park info booth, which I think would be incredibly important to, uh, to have. So we're gonna add that in. And one of the reasons I think this is so important is you could go here and figure out what's happening at the exposition. So that's great. And then next, I'm gonna place some of our flooring in there. So we'll go back into our zoo and we will grab our pavement. Now, unfortunately, this overlaps. I did not expect that. So we're gonna to need to be really thoughtful about this and I may need to move this over. So I am gonna move this over and I'm gonna move it and center it on this, this path instead. And hopefully, if I get it just right, I'll be able to, to make it look somewhat natural. So I think the easiest way of handling it is gonna be just to move it as close as I can to the sidewalk here, and then it just get my, my pads lined up here. So that isn't what I wanted to do, but it's vanilla, so we're going to need to, we're gonna need to work within the constraints of the game, which is fine. We'll figure it out. That's looking pretty good. I, I, I don't mind that at all. Now here, we're gonna just have pavement. I just want this to be a walking space. Now this is gonna be a troubling spot for me. I can't really fill that in very nicely. We're gonna need to just, we're, we'll need to figure something out, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna save that for the end. Okay, so I'm gonna plop some bushes to try to make this look a little bit nicer. Clearly it's not perfect, but we can do our best to make it better. This is unfortunate because of the angle, it's not going to allow me to place my landscape in there. So I'm gonna extend this out just a bit further and hopefully that fixes it. Because I, I do want this to look clean. I want there to be a clean edge. We spent so much time getting this just right. This isn't the time to give up. This is not the time to give up. But we do need to accept when good enough is good enough. And I think this is good enough. So you might've noticed I left this area right here without any pavement. I think that's gonna be a real difficult one to pave. 
So what we're gonna do is add a bunch of flowers here and some palm trees and consider this kind of a special little triangle. <laughs> I don't think there's much we can do here. That looks pretty good, I like that. So now that we have this, we need, I, I wanna add some places to grab food back here. So we're gonna go back into our park assets, go into our props tab, and let's grab some places to eat. So we have these kiosks with grills. I love these, these are really great. So we'll come through here, and we're gonna add just a few of these. There's places where, where someone could grab a newspaper, grab a bite to eat, and have a seat. Oh, I really like that. So this build has been absolutely fantastic for me personally. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Uh, it, you know, every now and then you, you, you just have a build that resonates with you. And this whole build has been that for me. It's really, I, I've really enjoyed it. I, I, there's no other way to, <laughs> to explain it. If you like this build, I, I really appreciate uh, a like. And uh, it, you know, this is one of those builds that for me, there's an ebb and a flow of a series. And that's something that as a content creator, I've just kind of learned over time. And there's some builds that really bring uh, a, one of your series back to life. And for me, this is, this is that build. I've really enjoyed it. So I hope that you have too. All right, so we're gonna add a few more seats here. Just a couple of places to take a load off. Not the most comfortable place. And I will, I will readily admit that. You are right by traffic, <laughs> so that's a thing. But I do think it's important to, to have these sorts of spaces and we'll add a trash receptacle. And I'm adding that close to the road right here so that if someone were walking by, they'd be able to throw things away as well. And then right here, let's have another fountain. And I wanna line some palms to really frame this, this asset. It's really a phenomenal asset and we need to take great care in making sure that it's the focal point by having the landscaping point to it. There we go. I like that a lot. I really, really like that. So the next thing I want to do, so we're basically done with this area. We, we've, we've made this a pedestrian paradise in my mind. I want to add some landscaping around the two buildings that we have placed to make them feel finished. And you could sometimes get these to place in between the road and the building. You've got to be very diligent with it though. And what's happening here is there, there are a couple of times where I've gone to place the tree and it just disappears. So I've had to go back in and try it again and the second time it works. So if this is something that you're looking to do in your build, don't give up. It'll take it eventually. And look at what that does. That really makes it come to life. Because you wouldn't have a building this spectacular and just leave it without any trees around it. Now we've got this kind of awkward space. So we're just gonna mirror the landscaping that we placed everywhere else. I think that that mirroring is really important and it really brings a place together. And that's why you might think that I'm being repetitive with my landscaping. That, that's a conscious decision. Uh, that is what brings a place together. That that repetition and symmetry, I think it's important. Otherwise things feel disjointed. There we go. Really, really, really enjoying this. That looks so good in my opinion. So we've got this little bit of space here and I don't want to continue the exact same aesthetic. So we're gonna go with something a little bit gentler. And what I think we're going to do is we're going to go with these small lindens, young lindens, and just place them along the path here. So the very last thing I want to do is add some palm trees along the road here to mimic what's happening over here. And then we're going to zone a couple of things because I think it's important to bring some activity to this side of the road. I don't really think I specified why 
I put the subway over here instead of over here. Might not be the most obvious choice. The reason why is I wanted there to be some more activity on this side of the road. It's not working, but I think we can get it to work. So let's place these trees and then we will give that a shot. There we go. So what we're gonna do is something that was suggested in the comments from the previous video. So one thing that was mentioned is that one of the things I could do to bring some activity here would be to zone some, some commercial. But in particular, the type of commercial that could really bring this to life would be some organic and local produce. So if you zone one by one or one by two, maybe even one by three, you can end up with uh, some smaller shops, some produce stands that could really breathe some life into this area. So let's go for it. So we don't have a way to make this a ski show, which is unfortunate, but we can name it this and we can do a couple of things. We need the district anyway, if we want to accomplish what we're about to do. So we're gonna place the organic and local produce specialty here, and then we're gonna go through this and just really gently and thoughtfully place some of our zoning. That's that's it. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna see if that does the trick. I also noticed that there are a couple of spots here where we got the sand coming through, so I'm just gonna fill some of this in. Oh, okay, so I guess by some of it, I meant all of it, but I kinda like the way it looks. It looks neat. I, I and I, you know, one of the things as I was looking at this, I wondered if I should've just pulled this right up, and I kinda think I should've. I left a gap, which is fine, but there's no reason why these bushes couldn't grow around the base. There we go. So, this is not filling in yet, which is curious. That is very, very curious. Oh, now it is. Now it is. So I'm gonna let this go for just a second and see what we get. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Just a place to grab some produce and you grab a bite to eat. Look at the shore. Perfect. Small, not too extreme, not too much. Just right. So I like that. I think that's good. In the spirit of this, I think that we need, I, I almost played some whack-a-mole here. And I think that we could if we wanted to, but I'm gonna reserve that for this area because I don't like what has happened here at all. So we've got this shore and instead of taking advantage of the shore, we've got this, a pool with a fence around it. <laughs> so we're gonna play some whack-a-mole. We're gonna get rid of some of these buildings and we're gonna try to spawn things that we want. So the way that we're gonna do that is we'll just get rid of a couple of these things. We'll go every other tile. So this is going to create some issues here. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> and I, I think I'm even gonna move this. Why don't we consolidate these? Initially, I really wanted to ensure that we had them here doing some things that were unique in this area. I think it just didn't really work. Uh, we had that, that bump out here that was kind of strange. I don't want any of that. So we'll get rid of those, and I'm gonna zone two buys, and hopefully that does the trick. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I really wanna make sure that this all really fills in well. So, you see right here how we have this nice lineup of these buildings that back right up? I want that same experience. And we're gonna get rid of this as well. So we can add a pedestrian facility going right here. So all the mulligans, there we go. Now I don't know if anything's gonna spawn here, but we'll let it go and see what happens. So let's let this go for just a second and see what pops up. Okay, one down, I like the way that turned out. So now we can zone right next to this. And maybe we need to give some thought to our special buildings right now. So. I've been saving, uh, some might say hoarding, unique buildings at this point. <laughs> so you can see that I placed a number of them, but there are a number that I have not placed yet. And part of the reason for that is th this island right here. We're going to save a lot of these. We're going to place so many, it's going to be overwhelming. But I did state that this series, one of the goals is to place every single building. So I think it's important that we think about that and start placing some of them now. So we've got a lot of these fishing piers, and I think that we don't need them all. So we're gonna get rid of this one. And there's one asset that I've not placed yet that I think maybe this is the opportunity. 
So at a World's Fair, it might make some sense to see a recreation of a historic building. So we, we saw this in Tennessee where they recreated the Parthenon and where they recreated uh, some other Greek architecture. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna have the uh, statue of the Colossus and we'll place that right here. And I like that. And truthfully, oh, we got that height thing again. So we learned that we could come through here and lower this and maybe get this to be a bit better. Why don't we give it a shot? Yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to fix this one. <laughs> as much as I want to, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna move it just a second. We'll see what we'll see what happens. It's funny, when I get it off centered, it seems very happy. Look at that. Just a little bit of terraforming and playing around. Now it's just right. That is perfect. So it needs water. So we will definitely make sure it has water. Now, one of the reasons it's so important to place this particular asset is if we hover over this and see what it does, it adds 20% onto the length of a tourist stay in your city. So not only is it going to increase the land values in this area, which if we take a look, they're not great. They're not great. So this is going to help. It also ensures that the tourists stay longer. Isn't that exactly what we'd want? So we've had some zoning occur. So I feel confident in adding this, although I didn't, I didn't want a two by two. I was hoping I'd get a four by four or two by four building to spawn here, but I got a two by two. That's okay. I can get another two by two here. Hopefully a three by two. We'll see. Sometimes you, you can't always get what you want, but you get what you need. Rolling Stones. <laughs> you know, we'll see. At least we got what we wanted here. That looks neat, actually. The parking lines up well. Looks like an extension. That's great. So there we go. And now you get this wonderful view of the Colossus as you come into the city. What's on his belt? I want to know who that guy is on the belt. Because... <laughs> I'm sure that that face is someone important. <laughs> someone at Colossal Order. <laughs> I like that though, that's funny. All right, so while we're waiting for some of this to happen, another thing that was pointed out in the comments is that when we're looking at the La Vista Verde, we're facing in the wrong direction. We're facing out to sea. So if you were on the coast, you would see the back end of this. And if we've spent this much time focusing on pointing everything at the city, we are gonna to wanna to make sure that this is pointing at the city as well. So, we have it focused on this road by the ferry. We need to focus it on the road right over here, which is unfortunate it doesn't like it. Let's see what I can do. I'm probably gonna to have to modify this corner here. It's okay. We're gonna lose some of our detailing. Again, okay, we'll figure it out. What I don't like because we've got what appears to be kind of a, a jump. And that's going to be harder to figure. So I'm going to turn on just angle to see if I can extend this road just a bit. Space is already occupied. It's mad at me. It is very mad at me. <laughs> so I'll see if I can just scoot this over ever so slightly. And if I do that, maybe it gives me just enough. Ooh. <laughs> well... That did the trick. I only had to delete the gate, the side gate over to the Hamilton experience, but that's small potatoes. We can get that fixed. So let's go ahead and we will add a new side gate. And it appears to be very unhappy with me at this point in time. Everything's a little bit off kilter. So we're going to need to do a bit of reconfiguration. So. It might seem like we're going back in time and we are. <laughs> so. Okay, so I've re-added our boat ride. It is, the orientation's changed and our bathroom's back. Now I'm concerned that this bathroom is just a little bit too close to the road. I really wish that it was being a little nicer with me about these nodes. For whatever reason, it won't let me scoot it over. And as a result, I'm struggling. So, see what we can do here. I, oh yeah, that's no good. You could sneak into the park through the bathrooms now. <laughs> so, if that was something you wanted to do. So what I think we're gonna do is we'll eliminate that. We'll extend this out just a bit and then we'll relocate this. Okay, that does the trick. 
So I think we're going to live with it, even if I don't love it. And we can get this thing moving again. Hopefully in slow motion and not in hyperspeed, which is where we've been at. <laughs> so let's place this here. You can see it's done some terraforming things that I don't love, but we can live with. Okay, and it's mad about the terrain heights again. So we'll need to do it. Whoa, 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 where are you going? <laughs> the Hamilton disaster of 2177. This cruise ship decided it was time to careen into the roller coaster. Okay, well, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> well, you're going in too. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up and see if the pathfinding corrects itself because this is bad. This is less than desirable. This is not the expectation I had for this area. I I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> just, they're just lining up. Oh my goodness. They all wanna jump the shore. Every last one. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That one was my favorite. <laughs> well, uh, you know, this one right back here is waiting too. It knows that if it wants to plant itself on the shore, it needs to give itself enough space to speed up and really jump that key wall. <laughs> it despawned, perfect. I love that it gave itself the extra push to get up here. <laughs> Just, we wanna make sure that we are entirely inside of the Hamilton experience. Okay, so once this one despawns, we're gonna see what happens. I'm hoping that that resolves our issue. I don't know why that happened, <laughs> but I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. That said, I got my fence fixed. <laughs> so, you know, you take your wins where you get them, even if it's in general a loss. <laughs> All right, so let's connect this up. Finally, we're not crashing into the shore again. We're happy to do whatever this is. <laughs> so, whew, that was a little nerve wracking. I was I was worried that, uh, I was worried there for a second that that was gonna be a thing and I was gonna need to find a solution and I don't know what that solution would have been. So, we've got lots of challenges here with building placement and the roads but I think we can overcome them. I, we had so much detail here. It would really be a shame to lose all of it because we decided we wanted to reorient this Ferris wheel. I think we're pretty good. Let's go ahead. Wow, look at that. I just love, I just love all the pedestrian activity that we get in this area. We got one more fence to add right here as well. But I think for the most part, we're good. So let's add some landscaping here. And up front, we're going to add some more landscaping. Again, this is really the landscaping episode. <laughs> so I hope you're here for it because I am. And it's, I, I live for this. So <laughs> here we are. Now, in the last one, I said I wasn't going to do this. Just know that when it comes to landscaping, if I ever say that I'm going to go light, I'm lying. <laughs> it's, we're going to we're going to do it up because I feel really feel like this is what brings everything together. Now we've got a road change here and it's kind of an awkward one. Before I forget about it, we're gonna just make the upgrade. And we'll just have it extend this entire street. That's nice. We can't go around the corner because this road is attached to this harbor, but that's okay. And before we forget, we're also gonna place this fence here that I pointed out is missing and then did nothing to fix it. There we go. I also think that we should finish our landscaping in this area or I will forget we're just gonna heavily flower this and then add a couple of trees just to frame the entryway there we go perfect I'm gonna go along the rest of this stretch of road and add in a bit of landscaping okay I'm really loving that now, one of the comments that I saw routinely is that it was really a shame that we had all this landscaping here and then we removed it all to put in La Vista Verde. So I do wanna add a little bit back in this area. And what I was thinking is 
we could bring in the exposition to this area by adding some of the same trade school benches. So what we're gonna do is just add a couple of benches. We'll turn them in. And that's that continuity I was talking about. Visual continuity, urban design continuity. It brings a place together and makes it seem like it was planned to exist together. And I really feel like that's what takes a high quality development and shows that it's a high quality development as opposed to places that feel disjointed, that feel like there wasn't a lot of thought going into everything going on. What I actually want to do is pop in, and I noticed here at the London Eye, La Vista Verde, rather, <laughs> we've, we've got some height things going on. I don't think I can fix them. That doesn't mean I'm not going to try. Yeah, I think that we're trapped. I could try to fix this, probably going to mess it up, so rather than letting perfect be the enemy of good, we're just gonna accept a couple of lumpies and bumpies. You can see them. They're pretty inconsequential, but they still bug me. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> just, sometimes you just gotta leave it. So I wanna add one more amenity to this. Uh, one more unique building that I think is really going to make this area pop. So right here, we've got the boat museum. And I think that we could put that close to the shore, but still in the water. We want to make sure it's a place where it drops down too. There we go. And let's open this up. And I'm really hoping that I can sneak in a little path. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy. It's not having it. It's not having it. And there's nothing that I can do. So in light of that, we're going to fudge it. So we know this doesn't work. <laughs> I won't tell anyone if you won't. A lot of this build is aesthetics, and that's what we're going for here. And I like the way it looks, even if it's a little bit wonky. So there we go. You could pretend that you can walk up here and go to the boat museum, which has no water. <laughs> so I did not realize that we have no water. Oh. Oh, and we've got water underneath our buildings. So we will resolve two issues right now. There we go. Hopefully this has power. Yeah, we can jump that. We're doing good. This is really feeling like a place with some life to me now. And I really like it. Let's see how this is looking. We still do not have this totally filled in, which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. So I want to fill in our landscaping back here. I'm not gonna leave this, I'm not gonna make this the back. I mean, it's the back, definitely the back, but I don't want it to feel like the back. And I certainly don't want the front to feel like the back. So let's go ahead and add some landscaping through here. We don't wanna overwhelm it. I'm gonna try to put it at the corners of lots so that it's not obstructing views. Now, I was gonna place some landscaping here, but now that I see it, actually, I like the way it looks. So it obstructs the views a little bit, but it's not too bad. So we're gonna place it, I mean, we've got fences here. Is it really any worse than that? Whew, that was, uh, that was some work. Uh, my, my biggest problem with it is that I sometimes stop blinking when I do this. <laughs> so a little look behind the curtain and I, uh, I find myself, it's this and overcooked. My life, my wife loves the game overcooked. And one of the reasons I don't like playing it with her is that I stop blinking I, for whatever reason, when I get really focused on these things, I just stop blinking and then my eyes burn. So <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at with this. But I really wanted to put as much attention into this area as I could because this is the city. I mean, if you're going to put attention into your airport or, uh, you know, any other number of special areas in your city or downtown, why wouldn't you also place that kind of attention in your tourism hub? This is the city. So we're gonna put that, that kind of attention into this area. 
So we have a few more things that I want to take care of. I, I think for the time being, I'm going to mirror the old landscaping here, is as boring as that is. But I want to clean things up just a little bit. And then over here, we've got this mess that we've created with our hot air balloon balloon tour. So we had a gate over here and our hot air balloon tours. And what you can tell that I've done is a pandemonium basically. So <laughs> we need to fix this. So what I think I'm gonna do is grab this terrain height here, and just pull it right up to our key wall. And we've got the same thing going on over here with our parking lot. So that creates some issues with this, but they're not insurmountable. We can grab our top height after we finish smoothing it out. Not enough soil. Really? Really? That should help. Not enough soil. <laughs> uh, we'll buy some. I'm not excited about it, but we'll buy some. And now here we're going to grab our top soil and just slope ourselves up a bit. So let's go ahead. We'll create our entry point over here. And I believe this was just the small side gate. We can have all of our snap twos back on, find that point and much, much better. We've got to fix this slope here, but this is significantly better. Look at that. Looking good. Looking good again. I'll just use the slope tool here and I'll feather it out just a bit. I did not mean to go, go large. The only large I go is mat large. So that's about it. All right, right there. Oh, it looks so much better in the terrain view. It's really disappointing. And then we've got this thing here along the wall that I really don't like. And I'm not sure of the best approach to fix it at this point in time. Okay, so now it at least slopes down. I suppose I could put rocks along here. That might be a solution. Don't love it. The only rocks that you can actually put along the key wall are these really tiny ones. So I could, let's just see how it looks. So the unfortunate thing is if I'm gonna get this to work, I need to get the water out of here. And that's not gonna be a simple feat. So let me know in the comments. I want to know if I should drain the water out of here a bit and bring these rocks down or if I should just eliminate the rocks and allow a little bit of brown. I really want to know what you think. I will do, I, I need some help. So I will go that route. Oh, we must have a fire. If you're here, where are you going? Can't even click on it. Returning to depot. So you just popped over here to fill your bucket up and then you're going back to where, okay, whatever. <laughs> so the final thing I want to do is I want to take a look at our tourism tours. So that's right here under tours. And look at this, this whole pier is attractive to tourists. So we have a tour here already. This is a remnant of our old Hamilton experience tour. It is a disaster. Oh, wow, this is super broken. <laughs> so why don't we just take a look? Is there a way for me just to delete this tour? Lines overview the Hamilton experience. We'll just get rid of that. So the beachside tour, this one's also broken. Maybe a little less so. Interesting. I think we're just gonna start fresh. To me, these just feel so incredibly broken. I know we have one going through Burning Palms. We had one following the beach and then we'll have one going up the pier. We are gonna start these all. Why don't we start them at the resort? And it's interesting, it wants to go, I guess we can walk down the pier, or down the side, the key wall. And this reminds me, someone said that this is broken and it seems like something is broken here. So we're gonna need to fix that. I, I will deal with that in a second. And then we'll walk along the side here, go to the boat tour, and then we'll come right back to where it all began. So there we go. So what's happening here at the Hamilton Experience? So something weird is happening here. I wonder if it's just not on the road anymore. I have no idea. It's bizarre. So there's cars here, but no one's walking up to it. Interesting. 
I have no idea. So what we're gonna do, I wonder if I'm gonna have to relocate this. We'll try the, the, the path of least resistance is just me getting rid of this connection and reestablishing it. Let's see if anyone walks in now. So I think it doesn't like what I've done here with the road. There's nowhere to snap here. So I was able to make this work, but it's not gonna like it. That said, we know that this side gate's working, so I might just, I might just let this one, we'll let sleeping dogs lie here. Because <laughs> sometimes it's about the aesthetics. And I feel like this whole build is a mixture of worrying about the aesthetics and worrying about the functionality. We're gonna really worry about the aesthetics here. All right, so the next one, we're gonna have a little beachside tour. So let's go for that one. Stop at the hot air balloon tour. We can check this out. We'll check out, we'll, we'll do the, the, the gazebo grand tour. <laughs> and then come down here, maybe hit up some shopping, the fish market, check out a skyscraper, and then check out some architecture. After that, we'll head right back and it'll be a very sad walk back. <laughs> what is this? The, the, the long tours are less appealing. The tour is too long. <laughs> so let's see. We'll remove this stop and this one and that one. Okay, now it's okay. We'll even get rid of that one. Stop at the mall. That's... That's where we'll stop. And then the final tour, we're gonna go into, into Burning Palms. So again, I'm gonna start that here at the resort. Let's walk through here. Now, hopefully that one's not too long. Doesn't seem like it is. We didn't walk through the camping area, so it should be okay. Not very many tours. So the first one is the Hamilton Experience. Hamilton Jetty. And let's make that blue to symbolize water. Second one, actually, we're gonna make it red because it's burned so many times. And then the second one is the beach tour. This one will be blue and then green. Wow. Well, and then this is the forest tour. So there we go. We've got our three tours. Got a couple people using them, not bad. So we could also go with some sightseeing buses if we wanted to. Looks like we have those, we're, 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 we're fine with those for now. I think that I think that we're leaving this in a place that I'm pretty happy about. I do want to place just a little bit more landscaping right here though. And then we'll have a brief city tour. It's nightfall and things are looking good. I think that this this could be one of the best world expositions that the wow, 2100s has to offer, if I don't say so myself. I think that Verde Beach has done an excellent job of planning its World's Fair, and these buildings are gonna stand the test of time. They're gonna be architectural marvels that people come and visit the city for. So. Uh, before we leave, I do want to check out one thing. So the Colossus is supposed to increase people's stay here. So I'm guessing in our city statistics, we're going to see a jump in our tours. Look at that. We see it. We see it. That feels good. I don't know what this number really means. I guess it's the number of tourists. But my guess is it's the number of tourists in the city at any one given time. Interestingly, we're not seeing that the tourist income jumping at the same rate, 
my guess is there's a little bit of a lag behind. So I think this is gonna jump right up and that's great. That is really outstanding. And ultimately we've created a place that is unique in the city that I, I don't know that you'd see this anywhere else. It would feel, this is a place you'd have to come and check out. And I think that that's ultimately what you'd hear is, you gotta go to Verde Beach, you gotta go check out the jetty. It's really neat, it's a, it's a really interesting place. And you'd even be willing to have your ship crash into another one to check out the Hamilton experience. <laughs> so I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I can't wait to see you in the next one where we are going to take a look at that. We've got some work to do over here. I hear that Maggie Myrtle is calling. She is ready to put some shovels in the ground, but we'll have to wait till the next one to learn more. Take care. Bye-bye.